Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 2 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, uh, the second edition. So in this video, what we're going to do is look at how to install R as well as RStudio, or more specifically where to find it. Um, so as discussed in the chapter, uh, what we need to do is we, we need to install R, which is, which is the program, the statistical program, and then we need to install RStudio, which is an IDE, so what we're going to use with, um, with R, uh, because R itself is kind of ugly. So what we need to do is, is use R Studio. It's real nice looking and easy to use and all this kind of fun stuff. All right, so what I did here is what we're starting on is the CRAN um, website, which is the Comprehensive R Archive Network. So it's when you're first doing this, when you're first looking at this, it should be pretty straightforward. So uh, right up here, download and install R. It's, you know, as straightforward as possible. Um, so probably most of y'all are not going to be using Linux. Um, so either Mac or Windows. Um, so I'm just going to click for me here on um, Windows. And then you'll see here there's a whole bunch of information. But it says in bold, underlined, uh, this is what you want to install R for the first time. So if I'm installing it for the first time, click that. And then you click download and then boom you're done. Um, you know, then you, you know, it downloads it and everything. And then you go through the normal process of, uh, installing a program. All right. So once you get that in, uh, you're going to want to install our studio. Now here's a tricky thing with our studio at this moment, sort of an awkward time period. So the IDE is called our studio, but the company is also called our studio. And so during the summer, they announced they are changing their name to Posit. And you, you can see here, it says we're changing our name to Posit in October. Um, so the company is going to change its name to Posit, but there's still going to be the R Studio IDE. Um, I'm not sure where the R Studio program will exist after they make the switch. Um, but I'm guessing the layout should look pretty similar. So on uh, the RStudio site here, um, if you click on products, they got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but what we're looking for is this open source here on the left. Uh, we're going to click on RStudio. All right. So we come here. We'll see we want this RStudio desktop. Click on that. All right, um, we want the open source edition, so download our Studio desktop, click on that. All right, and then we go to another version or another website here, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so we have our the our Studio desktop, desktop pro, server, workbench. Um, so the desktop is just literally like the part that you, you would install onto your computer. The server is using it remotely. Um, I've never really used a server. I haven't used for any of the paid versions here. So what I would do is just click on download and then you find your operating system and then click on, uh, download. Um, and that is it. So that is how you find it. And then you go through the normal installation process and then you should be good to go. Uh, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at, uh, take, a, take a quick look at what our studio looks like itself. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.